back with another Tiger Bite this week. Something to look forward to this week is a home basketball game for the high school boys on the 13th against Mountain Grove. The high school girls will also continue their amazing basketball season on Tuesday the 14th against Kabul. Enjoy another boys basketball game at Willow Springs on the 17th. And don't forget we have an early dismissal on that Friday. Enjoy your extra time at home. During this week's show, we have Tucker Richardson showing us his creative way to spend his spare time. Have you ever done stop motion? A stop motion is a three-dimensional animation that is made by hand. Many animators work very hard to make the movies that you love and watch now, known as Caroline, Cabot and the Two Strings, Missing Link, and Paranorman. First frame rate. Right. Frame rate is part of stop motion that you're gonna need to get comfortable with. Frame rate is how fast your stop motion goes. Most movies are about 20 frames per second. As a beginner, I prefer to start on five frames per second. I have been doing stop motion for a while, so I animate on 10 to 15 frames per second. Gabe Hart surprised me when I taught him stop motion. He decided to start animating on 10 frames per second, and he's pretty good now. Secondly, most stop motion films are shot with the camera. But for a beginner, I prefer a phone and don't use the actual camera on a phone. You might not have a phone anymore. You can ask Gage how that went. I'll give you a big hint that he almost couldn't use his camera again. You can download an app on your phone called Stop Motion Studio. Thirdly, a good action figure is best for stop motion. When I say best, I mean all moving joint action figure. Something that really works. You know those posable wooden people? If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Miss Allen has some in her art room. It works well if you want if you want to go to another level of stop motion. You need a DSLR camera and a computer. Now back to you in the newsroom, Riley. Thanks, Tucker. What a fun way to spend your time. Now to Emily Nunnery with her latest science experiment. Thanks, Riley. Hi, I'm a man. I'm going to tell you about how rocks get polished. Have you ever heard of a polished rock? If not, it looks like a regular rock, but with no sharp edges and an extraordinary look. Stuff you need is a strainer, a rock tumbler, extractions, grit, and rock to put it in. Make sure they are not too big. The first thing you do is put the rocks you chose and put them in the tumbler. Next, you fill it with water just enough to cover the rocks. After that, you put the grit in. Dump the whole thing in if it's a small bag. In a jar, put two tablespoons of grit in the tumbler. Shut the lid tight and put it on the bottom of the machine. Set it to the shown number of days in extractions. After your days of patience, open the lid and if you do it correctly, there will be gray, watery goo. And this is where the strainer comes in, unless you wanna get messy. When you take them out, it looks like polished rocks. There are four types of grit, including coarse, medium, pre-polish, and polish. Rock tumbling is a great hobby and can be really fun. Back to you in the newsroom, Riley. Wow, that story really rocks. And now to our newest reporter, Quinn Shelton, with a controversial opinion on cheerleading. Hi, my name is Quinn Shelton. Cheerleading is a sport. It can be more dangerous than football. Let me tell you how. During a stunt, some cheerleadings can fly up to 10 feet in the air. While football players are wearing helmets, cheerleaders don't. That's why I think cheerleading is more dangerous, demanding, and a tougher sport than football. If you are interested in learning more and joining the squad, listen up. Anyone that has a preppy attitude can try cheerleading. Kindergarten through fifth grade is called Little Tigers. They and they get to cheer during halftime at high school football games. Middle and high school cheers is different, really different. Not everyone can join. You have to try out for the team where are three things you can do in cheerleading. First, you can fly, which is where people throw you up in the air. Next is stunts. Stunning is where you do flips and cartwheels. Finally, we 
cheer to give the team and the crowd the spirit they need to win. Another thing cheerleaders do is memorizing the cheer. So cheerleading isn't that easy. You need to be tough, flexible, and cheerful to be a great cheerleader. I'm Quinn Shelton. Back to you in the newsroom. Thanks, Quinn. That was a very cheerful story. Let's listen to our last reporter, Caleb Evans, on how to play an amazing sport called football. Hey, Tigers, have you ever played tackle football before? Well, I have, and it's one of my favorite sports. My position is left guard, and on defense, left and right tackle, along with DN, and that is my the position where I sat my first quarterback for a I blew through the line and got him. My team and I went 6-0 and undefeated. These are three tips to be a good football player. First, you have to know how to block. Next, you have to be able to tackle. A lot of people who think they know how to tackle, but they are doing it so wrong. You have to get below the knees to get them down. Finally, you know you have to know how to read plays. Sometimes it is difficult to know what they say because they are a bunch of lines. I like football because I get to hit people. I, I think that you should join the Houston Mighty Might football team. When I get older, I want to make it to the Houston High School football team. With the people who play football now, I think we will have a championship football team. I'm Caleb Evans. Back to you in the newsroom. Thanks, Caleb. I hope to see you playing in our district championship in the future. And now to Elena Williams with another accurate weather broadcast. Cast for the week. Today the forecast is a high of 53 and a low of 40 degrees. It is going to be sunny all day. Tuesday will be a high of 52 with a low of 44. Wednesday will be a high of 56 with a low of 38. Showers will be possible. Thursday will be a high of 53 with a low of 34. Tuesday and Thursday, thunder and lightning will be pop expected. Finally, Friday will be a high of 44 with a low of 29. It is going to be partly sunny with a chance of clouds. For Tiger Bite Weather, I'm Alina Williams. Thanks, Alina. It's always nice to be prepared for the week. And now a message from all of us at the Tiger Bite. Thanks to all the teachers and all the students for watching the Tiger Bite and supporting us. Thank you, lunch ladies, for making such great food. Thanks to the online community for continuing to support the Tiger Bite. Thanks for watching! As always, if you have a story to tell or want to share a skill, reach out to Ms. Johnson or Mr. Wilson.